Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're combining two of my favorite things in life. We're talking about Dior Beauty and we're talking about new releases because apparently summer 2023 is the summer of new makeup for Dior. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. All right, let's just dive right into this because we have a lot to talk about. First and foremost, we have a new eyeshadow formulation. We've touched on this before. We have some more information now. This is live on the Dior Beauty USA site. If you look at the Canadian website, all, not all, but a lot of the eyeshadows are listed as temporarily unavailable, which means we're getting the new formula as well. Let's see what's going on here. So we do have some new quads here, or new quads, new quints. These are five shadows. They've changed the name. So before this formula here from 2020, this was called the Cinq Couleur Couture. This new one here is called the Dior Show Five Couleur. It's an eyeshadow palette with five colors. They've just changed the name a little bit. And they do have some new palettes. A lot of them are light, beigey, rosy, corally orange. A lot of them, the new ones are like this, but they've also combined palettes. Like they've taken two previous palettes and made them into one. The one that I can think of here is 183 Plum Tutu, which I think is Plum Tool and Tutu, two of those I own already. It's uh, both of them are beautiful plum purpley palettes and they've sort of combined them to create Plum Tutu, but I don't know if it's exactly the same colors from before put together or if these are new shades. I imagine these are previous colors that they've just smooshed together. And we also have Khaki here. Now Khaki is a blend of Jungle, which I love Jungle, and another palette. I don't remember which one, but we have this here. So we have previous palettes like uh, Grand Bal, I have Nude Dress. Denim, of course, is what I'm wearing today. I love a blue eyeshadow. And then we do have some new shadows. Now these retail at 65 USD plus tax. And let's just look at more information here because there's a lot. Um, one thing, the case here looks very different. So if you look at the outside case, it looks like there's a little CD, like the Christian Dior logo. It looks like it's going to overlap when you close it. Currently, this is what the case looks like. So they've changed the packaging. Let's see if it says how much the product weighs or anything like that. This here denim is seven grams. This is the previous formulation. I can't see exactly how much product is going to be for the new, the new palette here. I'm looking online, but I don't see, I don't see that anywhere. Something else that I've noticed noticed is in the applicators. If you look at the photo here, there are two little applicators, but they're only one sided. And the previous ones are dual sided. And yes, I actually do use these. So you can see there's two sides and the new applicators look like there's just one. I think that's a bit cheap. I mean, maybe it's a bit easier to use because the, the handle is longer, but I actually do like using both sides. Now, what is it about this that's so different that they had to change it? Listen, we've had a huge discussion over on Instagram. I, I posted about this at the, at the end of last week, you know, the new formulation, what's it about? A lot of people suspected that they were removing talc. And if that were, if that were the case, you would think that they would be, you know, bragging about it or talking about it, but there's no mention of talc. I'll go ahead and post the ingredient list here for denim and you can tell me what you think, but I'm not really sure exactly. I have I have a thought about uh, the reformulation here because a lot of the focus is about this is a new formula. It has um, skincare in the eyeshadow mixed in with the makeup. This is supposed to be better somehow. The description says the Dior Show Cinq Couleur is the Dior Eye Makeup Signature Eyeshadow Palette, long wearing makeup, in an ultra creamy and comfortable texture. This eye palette has been reinvented with a formula infused with cornflower extract. Each harmony of shades for this eye palette is inspired by iconic pieces of Dior fashion, like a wardrobe for the eyes to dress your eyes in Dior with 
matte satin shimmer metallic and glitter finishes depending on what you get the case uh, has the modern design with the smallest detail details it's lacquered it's adorned with the monogram CD letters and it has two single-ended applicators to apply and blend eyeshadow so it looks like they're saying that this is a reformulation with corn flower extract okay what is corn flower extract according to Google a uh, corn flower extract can be used to treat fever, constipation, and water retention. That's just what I need in my eyeshadow. No, actually, you can use corn flower for skincare as well. It says that corn flower in skincare uh, can be used to regulate sebum, which could be good for those of us with oily eyelids. So sebum is oil, so corn flower extract can regulate oil. So I can see why they would add that to eyeshadow to make sure it doesn't crease or anything. But in my opinion, I think this touches on our obsession with youth and skincare. Even if you add a skincare to every single layer of your makeup, you're still going to age. You're still going to get wrinkles. Like, is this really necessary? Like, I think they should add good ingredients to our makeup and they should add ingredients that makes our makeup long wearing etc but we're still gonna get old i don't know guys now am i going to go ahead and replace all of my palettes absolutely not i'm not going to replace denim and soft cashmere and etc etc i will purchase new palettes as long as they're good because i'm also going to look for reviews and swatches but i'm not just going to replace everything that i have if some of these new eyeshadow blends become available to me in Canada, which I'm sure they will soon, I'll go ahead and test them out. But I'm don't replace everything you have. Don't do that. It's okay. Don't do that. I just saw online here that the new eyeshadow formula also is 7 grams of product. It says on the website. So the 2020 formula, the 2023 formula gives you 7 grams of product exactly. I don't remember how much the this formula was but this one here is 65 usd for the new formula so if you remember what the other formula was or the price let us know moving on to more makeup from dior we have the dior show on stage crayon that means a pencil or liner in this case this is the waterproof coal eyeliner pencil intense color there are eight classic shades to choose from, so we have black, brown, dark uh, forest green, dark navy, plum, you know, classic shades. These are 32 USD plus uh, tax, and this I think looks very interesting because this is a waterproof coal. So anytime you see coal in an eyeliner setting, it's going to be so buttery and smooth. Typically it means you barely apply it on your eye and it just glides like butter, no tugging, no pulling on the eye. And the fact that it's waterproof, I love that. It's summer soon, we're gonna be warm and schwitzy, we want our makeup to stay all day. So I think that these look great. It says it's going to last uh, a very long time, I'm sure it will. Is it going to last 24 hours? Is it going to be a tattoo? Of course not, but we should have high hopes and high standards for the price. And interestingly enough, this one here, you can sharpen. So I like that because you can really get a fine tip. And I love as well, at the bottom if you look, there's a little sponge tip applicator. So that leans into the whole coal, creamy, buttery. You could maybe do an eye look with this. It reminds me of the Victoria Beckham eyeliners. Those are so buttery, so creamy, and it has a little sponge tip. So you can blend, you, you can apply and then blend the mascara. And it's like a, a soft, smoky eye look with just eyeliner. So this looks great. I definitely would give these a try. I'm not sure what shades I would get maybe black because it's very easy and you know very very easy to use but i think that all of these are going to be matte i don't think there's going to be metallic or anything like that yet possibly as time goes on um you know they'll add more um, finishes that's the word but yeah it says here you can create uh, a couture smoky look very easily I think this, th that this looks wonderful. I think this looks lovely. 
I don't know if they have any more application tips. Yeah, just use it like an eyeliner and smudge it out for a smoky eye. Okay. Moving on to something else here. I am very, very excited for this. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blushes. We are finally getting more shades of this series here and I'm so excited. As you can see, I own the two current shades available. Today I'm wearing Coral. It's a beautiful coral peachy color. So it's interesting because the case looks different than the shade itself. Sometimes when you look at the case, it doesn't really ça rien à faire. It, does, it looks very different, but this is what I'm wearing today. I think it looks lovely. And then this is Pink 001. It matches the Lip Maximizer in that these sort of just enhance your natural glow. When you apply these, like at first you look at this and it looks really intense. Like it looks more dull here and then bam, it's like bubblegum pink. It's actually really, really beautiful and subtle. And when these first came out, I had to be convinced. I don't think I tried these for like a year after they came out, something about it. Like when you swatch it, it doesn't look amazing. It's just when you apply it on the cheek, it there is some sort of like color enhancing, color reviving technology that blends with your skin's pH and just brings out your own natural flush in a coral way or a pink way or other shades available and these blushes are so long wearing i have been wanting more shades of this for so long so we're going to have new colors available thank goodness and these are going to retail at 40 usd each and there's going to be four new colors and these are all colors that correspond to some of the lip oils that i already own so it's going to give us an idea so the four new shades are berry cherry rosewood and mahogany if you have any of the lip maximizers the lip oils some of these names might sound familiar so this one here is mahogany mahogany is the perfect nudie brown your lip but better so so pretty i'm going to get go ahead and guess that it's the darkest brown in the swatches that we see here i think i have berry I don't know where Barry went, but I had Barry. I think it's in my purse somewhere. But Barry is just a beautiful Barry lip color. And then Cherry I've had as a lip oil. It's like a bright cherry pink. And then Rosewood is like a nudie pink brown. Mahogany is more of a brownie brown and Rosewood is more pink. These are all leaning into your cheek, but better like Rosewood and Mahogany your cheek but better oh i love 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 that it's so pretty i'm really excited to see cherry i just i don't know i'm i'm, I'm wondering if cherry is going to be red or if it's going to be more pink listen it's hard to tell and i know what you may be thinking you may look at some of these photos and go like mm, i understand i understand i was there listen 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 i was there as well i wasn't convinced right away but trust me, these are really, really beautiful. And sometimes a makeup product that just sort of looks like meh in the palette looks better on you because it's so beautiful and so subtle. And I promise you, when you swatch this in person, you can swatch it for the texture and the finish, but you're not going to see the full flush on your hand. It's really when you wear it, try to get like a, a clean brush at Sephora or wherever and try it in person and just sort of live with it for a few minutes to see how it reacts and changes because these are going to be really pretty. And I just want to show again, like if you look at the cases closed, they look terrible. Like they look off, like maybe there's a, maybe there's like a flash or something, but like these look so different inside like this and this, these look like different products. So don't get discouraged if you don't like the outside here. And even if you think this doesn't look spectacular, Trust me, these are pro like these. They're, they're going to be great, and I'm really confused because I feel like I'm having, like I don't know what's it called. Like I swear to God, I remember reading this, and reading that this was a new talc-free formula. I even wrote it in my notes, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm looking at all the blogs that I'm on, and I don't see anything about talc-free. But I swear, yesterday it was there. Anyway, we'll see. 
I don't have that yet. It's supposed to come out in June, which will be sooner than we can think. So these will be at Sephora and also at Dior counters because this is backstage and backstage is a little bit different than the regular classic Christian Dior branding. It's more youthful, it's a bit less expensive, and it's more Sephora Ulta targeted, but it'll still be at the counters more than likely. So yeah, this cannot wait for this, super excited. And then, still out of breath here, last but not least, we have the new skincare item here. This is called Le Baume. I don't know why it's not called La Baume. Anyway, this is a revitalizing balm for hands, lips, and body. I'm confused. Something about hands, lips, and body. It, this to me screams like it's trying to be French pharmacy skincare, but very expensive. This is 60 USD plus tax. And this is brand new. This sort of just slithered out onto the website overnight. So Dior Le Baume, the uh, Dior Beauty Essential, you soon will be able to be without. It's ultra compact design is fashionable and practical, making it a must-have for the house. Take it wherever you go. Cool. Dior reimagines an essential skincare step in travel-friendly size. Is it? Is it 10? Is it 10 milliliters? Other than that, anything bigger than that, they just steal it from you. It's a multi-purpose revitalizing treatment that can be used to restore particularly dry areas of the hands, lips, and body. It's comforting and enveloping. Hmm. It's beyond hydrating and nourishing. So is it just like a really thick salve? You know, sometimes that's really good for the lips, but then the cuticles as well. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, very clear. I know. Uh, the texture, it says it's a formula comprised of 95% natural origin ingredients. That's not the texture. Okay. Is it like a milk? Is it uh, like aquaphor? Is it a thick body butter? Unclear. It says apply this multi-purpose balm to dry and sensitive areas of the body and face, lips, hands, and arms. Arms? Have you seen how tiny this is? You could like squeeze out the whole bottle for your arms. I don't know. This definitely looks like some sort of like multi-purpose on the go travel, super dry, dehydrated. Let me just do a little patch here, a little patch here. Is it worth $60? I don't know. I, I feel like you could definitely go to the pharmacy and get like a little tube of something that's going to be more multi-purpose than this. But listen, if you want to spend your money, go ahead. I'm sure it feels very luxurious. I'm sure it looks luxurious. I'm sure you feel extra fresh just taking this out and just mm, doing whatever. So I get it. I don't know. I'm sure about this. I want to see the texture. I want to see what it's like. And I just, I don't know. Something for me when it's like, it's multi-purpose. It's a 17 in one. I'm like, is that really luxury? I kind of like having separate things for separate needs. Anyway, I think that's it for these new releases so far for Dior. I haven't seen anything for the fall release yet. I know it's so early, but I'll let you know what I do. But yeah, I don't know what happened overnight. Dior was like, yeah, uh, Peter Phillips has in fact never taken a vacation day and we've just come out with a thousand new items for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think of the reformulation? Do you think yeah, what do you think is up? It could be an ingredient list issue. I'm wondering if it's they're having issues sourcing different ingredient lists. Maybe they're trying to make things more clean, whatever that means. Sound off in the comments below. I cannot wait to hear from you. And let me know what you think of all these other releases. And on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.